Welcome to the Daily Jing for April 19th, Friday. Let's look at the schedule. The 11th week. This is Friday of the 11th week. Um, I've put back or put forward the uh, due date for the rough draft. So it's due next Friday, a week from today, or the following Monday, uh, April 29th, the Monday of the 13th week. So, and I'll change this to the peer reviews will be due later, later in that week. And then we'll have another week to work on it and then um, that'll be it. And the final draft of the paper, well, the, the rough draft will be due submitted into Google Docs like you've been doing, but the final draft of the paper, along with the rough draft, will be posted into the final portfolio, which will be submitted into the Dropbox in D2L, and I'll be talking about this as we go along here. I would like to look at this sample paper, sample B, which is in today's block. Okay, this is the 11th week here. Uh, and it's today's block, the 14th, of, I'm sorry, the 19th. And if you click on this, you'll go to a paper about coffee and uh, I just want to talk about structure in reference to this particular paper. I've I've scratched out the or st struck out the first paragraph here because the person is waking up in bed and has nothing to do with coffee. So my suggestion is to go right to the coffee and start here. And I put in headings here. The headings with the brackets are my headings, my suggested headings here. Uh, father, where she's talking about coffee and father. She needs to elaborate a lot more on that. And make sure that you look at my comments in, in the side. And then I have this coffee shop section, and then on the road, and coffee crazed, and zombie time. But what has to happen here is that these sections after this broken line need to be moved up. So the father's section here has to be moved up to here and elaborated on. And also, the coffee shop section needs to be moved up, too. Um, but the idea here is to segment the paper, put in headings, and but, but all along, stay in one place, OK? So my comment here goes directly to that point. Uh, I concentrate in the comments on structure. The essay seems to be divided into two sections originally. Instead of doing that, I suggest that the writer stay in the morning scene and cut back and forth to the commentary about the father working at the coffee shop and, and the way. That way we are grounded in a particular scene and the writer gets a chance to comment on her coffee addiction or coffee uh, pleasure, okay, by way of other incidents in her morning routine and her and her research and her research so you're doing particular things to get yourself going with coffee and you you are interrupting them to think about your work think about driving think about your father thinking about other things related but you're always coming back to particular things that you're doing in the kitchen with coffee, okay? So within the section that needs, within each section, there needs to be quite a bit more detail, 
Okay, this is also very important, and you need to use your research in order to provide the detail. Um, but it's just not th throwing research up on the wall to see if any of it sticks. It's actually integrating them, integrating their research into whatever you're doing in the paper. Okay, so the research has to has to be integrated. You have to talk about it in terms of wh what you're doing, not just to support the idea of coffee in this in this case, but to actually um, make your love of coffee here more detailed and more interesting. Okay, so take a look at this sample paper. It's it's a good one for you to study it, uh, when you think about structuring your piece. Okay, so the question of the day is: When is the paper, the the rough draft of the paper, finally due? And it's due uh, next Friday. Okay, this is this Friday. The twenty second is Monday. So it'll be due the 24th, the 26th, or finally due uh, on that Monday after the weekend. Okay, so take a look at the schedule again because I've changed it. I've moved it, f moved the assignment forward. Okay, all right, thanks.